This universe must have a creator. Allah says in the Quran, were they created by nothing or were they themselves the creators? Or did they create the heavens and the earth? Nay, but they have no firm faith. The view that the universe happened by accident without any creator is irrational. It is like saying that a dictionary could come into existence as a result of an accidental explosion in a printing press. If you put 10 coins in your pocket with numbers from 1 to 10 written on them and then try to take them out in ascending numerical order, the chance of you taking out the coin on which is written number 1 at the first attempt is 1 in 10. The chance of you taking out all 10 coins in numerical order is 1 in 10 billion. So keeping in mind the above, what are the chances of this orderly, well-structured and efficient universe to assume its current shape? It is impossible that the universe could come into existence by accident without any creator because even the insignificant grain that we eat requires competent cooperation of the heavens and the earth. Allah says in the Quran, then let man look at his food, that we pour forth water in abundance, and we split the earth in clefts, and we cause therein the grain to grow. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created the universe يعني, uh, in, uh, with vast knowledge and vast wisdom and he has made all kinds of creatures and يعني, all kinds of designs, all kinds of shapes, all kinds of functions, all kinds of systems. This is something which make uh, يعني, the most knowledgeable in science be humble and say, oh my God. يعني, uh, this is something which should يعني, lead to the faith in Allah's existence. The view that nature is the creator has also deceived many. If by nature they mean universe, then this view by and large repeats the previous idea. Moreover, this view does not satisfy the rational mind because nature, that is, heavens and earths, do not possess reason and cannot create something that is more developed than itself, that is, humans who think, see, and hear. What popularized this view was the scientist's observation of the appearance of maggots in the excrement of humans and animals, and the formation of bacteria which ate food and caused it to rot. The falsehood of this view was soon exposed when French scientist Pasteur proved that these maggots and bacteria did not generate themselves from nature. Rather, their origin lay in something that was invisible to the naked eye. He proved his study by sealing some food away from open air and killing the bacteria by boiling it. No new bacteria formed in the food, and it did not rot. It is this concept upon which the food canning industry was found. Most people, even atheists, who declare sometimes that they don't believe in Allah, they don't believe in God, they actually have to tell you that there is some external force behind 
the creation. So they are shy to say, we have faith in God. We have faith in the existence of God. There are also those who propose that it is the laws which govern the universe that bring everything into existence. This view is again deceiving one's own self, because by discovering the laws of nature, man cannot solve the mystery of the universe. The extent of science is limited to merely explaining the cause and effect behind this universe. If the universe is a machine, then simply by discovering how the parts and cogs of this machine are connected to each other does not answer the question, who created this machine?